Good afternoon. Today is 15 March 2016, 15, 19 hours, Monday. This is going to be a supplemental report in connection to a traffic accident which occurred on the 10th of March, approximately 1900 hours, 1930 hours, at 480 Main Street in Wilmington, Ohio. It's going to be under the jurisdiction of the Wilmington Police Department of Ohio. And this was in regards to an accident which occurred between a vehicle and pedestrian. I was a pedestrian. I was coming home from work at Fritch's. And as I was crossing the sidewalk to get ready to go to the next corner, which was uh, where the uh, walking south, I believe, no, walking west on Main Street, uh, I was on the east side, I was on the north side of the street, walking west on Main Street, on the sidewalk at Marathon Gas Station, I was struck by a gold, silver Dodge, 2008 Dodge Charger, driven by Miss Rita J. Crampton, 919 Lincoln Street, Wilmington, Ohio. She was driving as she was pulling into the gas station. She struck me. Um, clearly, gas station was lit up. She had multiple lights on the front of her car. No way that this woman could not have seen me in front of her as she's pulling into the gas station. She struck me. I was thrown approximately 10 feet. I hit the front of her car. But yet, this is what she advises. Miss Crampton advised that as she pulled into the station to get some cigarettes, Crampton advised she saw Isaac walking and drove past him to the drive through window. While she was getting her cigarettes, Isaac walked up and asked her what she was doing, then advised her that she had hit him. Crampton stated that if she had did hit him, she did not feel anything. Now I'm going to call this woman out because she was a, a, a pathological liar, first off. She was inside, she parked the car. If you notice my other report, and I show the police taking the uh, photo uh, investigation at the gas station underneath the pumps, okay? you'll see that she has multiple lights on. She's parked, so she parked her car to go inside the gas station. She didn't go through the drive through window to get her cigarettes. So if a woman can have this type of recollection of something that did not happen, and hit somebody, literally hit somebody, and then turn around as she's pulling the car around me after hitting me to say that she was sorry. This is what the woman tells me as after she just hit me. I'm sorry. Well, if you drove past me and didn't know that you hit me, then what the hell were you apologizing for? And you did not go to the drive through window to purchase cigarettes because you parked your car that is clearly shown in the pictures on my video and went inside and purchased your cigarettes and had such a depraved indifference that you just looked at me and kept walking after you knew that I was the one that you hit. The store clerk knew that you hit me. And yet, you just continue to not give a shit as it appears. To tell the officer this cockamamie story, which the video cameras will clearly prove you never went to the drive through window and that you came inside to purchase your cigarettes, proves that you're a pathological liar. This type of person should not be behind the wheel if they have such a depraved indifference to hitting people with their vehicle. The vehicle weighs at least 2,500 pounds. And you hit somebody and had no concern, no remorse whatsoever. The fact that this gas station claims to have not had any video cameras at the pumps, but yet there was a UDF right across the street and you had a Speedway gas station across the street from the UDF in close proximity to all three gas stations within that circle. And I'm sure that there are video cameras at the Speedway that point forward into their parking lot and the UDF has cameras there as well. There has to be video that will prove that this woman hit somebody on the sidewalk in a gas station right across the street. But 
It's not my place to say. I'm not the investigating officer. This is the investigating officer, and now we have a uh, follow-up that we have to deal with. Because I have to obtain counsel. Because, you know, obviously, this is my work release. I had to take off Friday because I couldn't walk. She hit me in my, my right here with a grill line where the car would have been my ACL and my meniscus, as they call it. By the way, I don't find it humorous at all. But, but it, it's pretty torn up. And I was given this at the hospital that I needed to wear. This is a brace. I was given that crutch. No matter what being charged with you. This is my bill from Clinton Memorial Hospital. So much for not, you know, imagining my injury. You know, this is what this woman is clearly telling me. Please. She never hit me. But yet I have a bill here that shows consistent injuries with being hit by a vehicle at that level. I've lost two days of work, and I'm not going to be able to pay these medical bills. Her insurance should be the one to pay the medical bills. But it seems that this woman can just hit people and not think anything about it and just tell the police she didn't hit anybody, and the police just let her drive away. You know, this to me, they should have given her a sobriety test right there because she obviously had no concern she had a total depraved indifference to hitting people with a vehicle that was clearly lit up. So, stand by for the follow-up. Strength and honor.